Good evening and today we are talking about a serious subject and that is why do most fat people smell? Now before we get into this, I'm fat, I smell, okay? Um, so I just want you to let you know that and I want to explain to you why if somebody is overweight they are more likely to smell than somebody who is not overweight. Now it's all to do with toxins. Now fat cells in your body, so cells of fat inside your body hold toxins. Now for those of you who don't know what toxins are, toxins are chemicals. They're items that our body not necessarily can process but get stuck in our body. So for instance, if our internal organs are all working correctly and we're eating um, enough fruit and vegetables to help our body process all this food, then our toxins will be washed away. However, if you are dehydrated or you have a lot of toxins, for instance, if you drink a lot of alcohol, um, you can smell. Now, when I say smell, you can have an alcohol smell. The other day I had a Chinese, and the next day I smelled a lot of soy sauce, a little bit of garlic, things like that. Um, but basically, the more fat cells inside our body, the more storage for toxins. So I'm not going to say all fat people smell because that's not correct. Somebody can be overweight and have a lot of calories, but they're not having a lot of toxins. Now me, myself, I admit it. When I used to be 31 stones, I wasn't eating healthy and I used to eat a lot of toxins. Uh, Kay, oh my God, you make us feel worse, <laughs> don't you? I'm not doing that, guys, but what I want to do is explain when you're losing weight, why you're maybe a little bit smellier than normal. The reason is it's great news because before your body can release the fat cells, your body needs to release the toxins. So for instance, if you go in a steam room or if you go into a sauna or you do an exercise class and you sweat, all those toxins are gonna to be washing away from your body. It stinks. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it stinks. When you're losing weight and you sweat, you're sweating out the toxins. But the good news is, unless you get rid of that toxins, you're not gonna release the fat. Your body is holding onto the toxins inside the fat cells. Now, Vicky, Jody, you are not sat on your toilet. Yes, I am sat on your, my toilet doing this talk, not because I'm talking about the other smells, but because I want to show you the products in my bathroom. Um, so really, really important, if you, what, remember what I was saying about putting all those toxins into your body, it's things like alcohol, it's things like food, but it's also any chemical that your body comes into contact with. So for instance, washing up liquid, hair shampoo, 40% of anything that touches your skin will go inside your body. So this is where if, for instance, if you work on a makeup counter and you have to get your face dressed up every morning, or if you work in TV or anything like that, and you have a lot of makeup, you will notice that your pores get really, really clogged. Now, I'm proud to say, have a closer look at my skin, guys. Look, I'm really happy with the state of my skin, and somebody noticed as well just the colour of my lips there, and somebody's already commented about my nails as well. I'm pleased to say um, this is because I've really limited the toxins I put inside my body and I eat coconut oil. This is how I've got such great skin and such great nails. It's not because I use products, because I don't use products at all. Now I'm going to give you a fact here that probably is going to make you a little bit sick. In 2005 I did my holistic course and I stopped using deodorant. 
completely. I've never sprayed deodorant ever since I did my holistic course. And this is because when you add spray to your skin, again, those toxins will absorb, and although temporarily it will stop the smell coming out, it will also stop those toxins being washed away. Therefore, your body will stop losing weight because your toxins are stuck inside, stuck inside the fat cells. Now, if you work in a customer service environment like myself, um, what I do now is I have a fragrance, so not an antiperspirant, not a deodorant, I use a fragrance and I'm very careful to spray it only on my clothes. I never ever spray it on my skin because as soon as you put anything on your skin it will be absorbed into your body. For those of you using antiperspirants, antiperspirants are horrendous because not only does it stop the toxins from coming out, those extra chemicals lock your toxins in for a long, long time. Katie, no wonder I stink. Yes, this is why I'm doing this video, guys. I don't like to do serious videos, but this is really important um, because it is a good thing that we are releasing our smells and releasing our toxins. Now, while we're in my bathroom, I'm gonna show you the three products I have in here. And this, to be honest with you, all I use. As I said, I've got the fragrance spray that I use, but these are the three products that I use in my bathroom, and that's it. Uh, Maureen, I'll be sniffing everyone. <laughs> Stop now while you're, not, while you're not ahead. Right, I'm gonna show you my three products, right. First of all, obviously, who is going to smell. It smells better if you have an unprocessed diet, but I do have some essential oils. So I have some natural essential oils in my bathroom. The other product I have is toothpaste. And this is a non-chemical toothpaste, and this is just a mint one. You can get all these from health food shops and things like that. And the third product I have is a charcoal soap. So this is a charcoal soap, and that is all I have. Uh, we've got a big question there. Oh, I need to scroll back down. Katie, skincare and shampoo wise, I do only use vegan sulfate and free product skin. Yes, great, that's good to know, Katie. Um, as many of you know, who are maybe in the health and wellness industry, um, your hair, obviously I don't have this problem, so I wouldn't know personally, but your hair can take care of itself. But again, it's up to you on a personal preference, and this is something that I don't need to worry about. But as I said, really limiting your toxin intake will help you lose weight. And I just want to reiterate again, it's great when you smell, because that is the toxins releasing from your body and then when you exercise, you can release the fat. So that is why I wanted to make this video tonight and please feel free to tell me about your smelly, you know, do you have more body odour when you exercise? Have you noticed when you've had a lot of toxic food, when you've been drinking, um, even the, do you know what, the taste in my mouth, I used to have really awful saliva, but since I've been doing this six week program, um, the saliva has really, really changed. Um, and my boyfriend in Egypt, <laughs> I always remember this, he used to say to me, I miss your smell. <laughs> and my mom even says like, oh, your, your bedroom smells like sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and even when I moved in with my new flatmate, he's like, what's that, what's that sweaty smell? <laughs> so again, unfortunately, it is a byproduct of losing weight. You are going to lose your toxins and you are going to release your scent. The good thing about being healthy and having a non-toxin diet is your body will start to release pheromones. Now, for those of you who know anything about pheromones, you will know that is it, it's the natural... Um, scent that you give to people that may be interested in you. So it's really, really good to uncover your body's natural odour, which is the pheromones, and then your loved one, like my lovely boyfriend in Egypt, he actually loves my pheromones, which I like to spray off when I'm around. <laughs> 
<laughs> right guys, that's it for today. If you've got any more questions, feel free to add them and I will comment after. And again, I want to reiterate, I am fat and I smell. I'm not taking uh, the pee out of anybody, guys. I just want to explain the toxic issue. Thank you very much. See you again soon. Goodbye.